welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to paint some simple vases with flowers something like this so i painted this on the etcher sketchbook but right now we are going to paint this on um, my new journal this was a gift for my friend this is the blue pine arts sketchbook and um, i actually used this sketchbook to also swatch the art philosophy artist grade tubes so by the time i uploaded this video you would have seen this uh, swatching video first and there's actually a space right here so i just thought of uh, painting some small bases in this area so this paper is 100% cotton paper but this one is rough so i'm not sure if this brush is gonna work but let's try this is from the princeton um, velvet touch line this is i think this is their miniature series and this is size zero it's a round brush but if you have other round brushes you can use it as well okay so now let's grab some cobalt blue i'm going to dilute it with a lot of water and we're first going to sketch the vase so i usually do the outline but if you have uh if you want to do a pencil sketch that's okay Okay, and then I'm just going to dilute this. I'm just gonna add <coughs> some water. Okay, and then um, you can add a little bit of indigo if you want. Just add like a shadow. This is optional but you can add this so i'm just going to paint some petals using lemon yellow and then you can grab some permanent yellow deep So I know that the shape actually looks like a leaf and we're just going to continue adding different um, colors. So my plan is to use yellow, um, orange and also red. So I know it doesn't look much right now, but it will look good later. And then let's try to add um, a stem. I'm just gonna grab some burnt umber. Let's add one more on the other side. And then let's use um, hooker's green or any green that you have. Just going to add some extra leaves. And later on, we are just going to fill this with some petals so that it looks fuller. can also add greenish yellow
Then you can also connect some of the petals using a green stem. Okay, now let's fill this up with some more um, yellow, lemon yellow. Okay, let's do the other side. I'm gonna be using yellow orange. So sometimes when the paper is rough, it's difficult to paint um, florals. So you will need to add a little bit more water than the usual mixture. So this is a rough paper. I normally prefer using cold press, so I feel like the texture is just right. So the trick with this um, vase is that you need to add like, different shades of colors. Um, so like what I said, I use orange, yellow, and red. And for the green, you can use a greenish yellow, sap green. You can add a bit of uh, blue, like indigo, to create a deeper shade of green. So this one will sort of look like a bit abstract and I think the base is a little small. Um, let's try to add some length to it. I'm not sure if we can still do something about it. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna add length to this um, vase. Okay, and I'm gonna blot out the excess paint. Okay, then let's grab some burnt umber. I think I want that part to fade. So I want this part to sort of fade. Now let's grab some red and just painting over the first layer of petals. Just uh, sort of adding some contrast. Let's add some orange. Then let's add some green. Okay, so this is really more of a dabbing motion using your brush to create some petal-like shapes. And this is very easy and you can also do a different color combination. Use some blues and violets, that will look great as well. And then I think I want a, I want a shadow. I'm gonna grab indigo, like a thick mixture of indigo. I'm going to put a line over here. I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna drag my brush below the line and sort of let it bleed. I think we can add a bit more indigo. I'm 
usually add like adding colors from the flowers right here so I added some yellow and add a bit of red or orange Okay, so it looks like some petals have like fallen right here. Okay, so we are done. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will see you in my next video. Bye!